Jamie Sadlowski, a name you know. He puts a hurting on the golf ball, a two-time World Long Drive champion, 2008. And what did he do? He backed it up and won again in 2009. And yes, he's a frequent guest on Morning Drive, even though occasionally he breaks things. And today, you know what it is? Arcos Driver Launch Day. We're really lucky enough to welcome in an Arcos ambassador in Jamie Sadlowski himself. Jamie, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Damon. It's great to see you. This golf club, it looks amazing. Tell us about the Arcos Driver. Yeah, the Arcos uh, is a fast-growing startup uh, company that's using um, technology to help golfers play better, okay. um, crunch stats, um, and very simple to use. So you just attach it to the, to the yeah, top of the club? Yeah, just a single sensor. This is the driver app, so the blue uh, sensor. And, I mean, very simple to use. You just attach it uh, to the back of your club. You download the Arcos driver app, free app. Um, turn your Bluetooth on, and wow. uh, and you're and you're golden. How important is this to, to your game? Obviously, stats are everything to a long driver. So, how do you use it to your advantage? Yeah, whether I'm preparing for the World Long Drive Championships or or I'm working on my golf game, um, Arcos is crucial in me getting better um, from playing wise. Whether uh, I, I'm working on ball striking, fairways hit, putts and um, putts per round. I mean, there's it gives you more stats than what they do on the PGA Tour and it's something that's very visual it's on your phone it's in front of you um, you don't have to log off and go to your computer to check your stats it's live um, and for the World Long Drive Championships uh, the driver app uh, every par 4 par 5 is uh, is a, a long drive hole where you can sure. compete against you know myself I can compete against you, compete <laughs> against your buddies um, so just it's very in front of you and it uh, gives you stats immediately that competition would be over very quickly if it was you against me. We know who would be winning. Now, it sounds like you have a lot of fun with this as well. I've heard this thing called King of the Hole. What is that? King of the Hole Challenge. Um, so what it is, virtually every par 4 and par 5, um, it's King of the Hole. So yeah, it's a long drive contest that you can, like I said, you can compete against myself. You can compete against your buddies. Um, and all you do is smash it and try to, you know, get as many crowns on that hole and, and uh, um, become the leader on that hole. It's a big world. How many holes are you king of the hole on? I would say quite a few. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Has anyone beat you, though? I mean, have you seen somebody go back and check and go, man, that guy beat me. I can't believe Maybe it. Maybe overall stats, um, because when I'm playing competitive golf, I don't hit that many drivers. Yeah. So on the leaderboard, I might be not looking too good, but uh, on most of the holes, I think I'll mostly <laughs> not to brag. And uh, you're a great hitter of the, of the golf ball. How about the average? Average person at home, maybe a bit of a slower a swing speed. How could it help uh, him or her? Um, well, whether it's the full set, all yep. 14 sensors, or the driver app. Um, again, the driver app is just one single sensor, right. very affordable. So you can crunch your numbers, your distances. Um, it also has GPS on it. Uh, to spot locations um, and then the full set is great because I mean whether you're an amateur or a good player maybe just your weekend warrior all the numbers can help you whether it's fairway set um, greens and regulation um, putts per round it just it shows you where you, you can improve what's what you're doing well and what you're not doing well and you know after you've done your round you look at your stats go to the range and work on the things that uh, that aren't going so well wow Great stuff, Jamie. A lot of information, very versatile and flexible. Are you ready to put this Arcos driver to the test? Let's do it, Damon. I'm ready to get it done and watch this man hit some shots. Faster. Now, listen, how am I doing here? You're this is looking what, three a lot years leaner. Later, uh, leaner. Am I more flexible? Should I get that left heel you up? You should get the left okay. heel up. That'll help get that shoulder underneath and down more. Okay. And then you're in good shape. Woo! I'll keep working on that, but you got a lot of work you do yourself. Now, listen, how do you use this Arcos driver on the range, for example? What are you trying to gauge? Uh, I mean, for me, it's distances. Okay. I, I mean, strictly distances. So I'm obviously, when I'm playing um, and, and trying to play competitive golf, I'm looking for distance and accuracy, obviously, which it gives you. Um, and then in competition, I'm looking for a lot of distance. And you got to hit that grid. And you got to hit the grid, right. something I didn't really do last year, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, so again, it helps me with distance, you know, knowing what I'm at with my standard driver versus my competition driver, which right. is very important, and obviously greens and ray, or fairways hit, um, and accuracy. All right, let's see what you got. All right, here we go. Woo-wee. That was a little off the heel. A little off the heel. Now, what's your warm-up routine? How many drives do you hit? Just to get warm before you start really, really going after um, it. I mean, I'll run through the bag. Uh, I'm a big believer in just gradually picking up speed. So I'll grab the 60-degree wedge, kind of roll through the bag, hit some softer shots, speed up. 
Um, I'll probably hit 50 balls before I, I get to the driver. Always go to the standard driver first, kind of three-quarter speed, and then go to full speed, and then I'll get the big boy out and, and really get after it. Now, I know you're focusing on your own game, but when you walk onto the driving range and you see some other players maybe not as athletically gifted as yourself, how can this tool the arcos driver specifically help them like what you know the guy that's a 20 handicap or, or the lady who's a 25 handicap how could it help uh i mean the biggest thing with arcos is um whether, whether you're a great player yeah. a good player or, or you're a weekend warrior yep. um it's all stats you get your cell phone out everything is right here in front of you wow um so you don't have to go searching for it so you're going to know what your longest drive was of the day you're going to know the weak parts of your game where you know, you're not hitting fairways or, or, you're, or you're missing left, you're missing right. So it gives you stats, um, immediate stats that can help you, you know, become a better player. Maybe you're hitting big duck hooks and, yep. and we got to work on the swing a little bit and get the path better. Um, but it's all things that are related to you getting better. Stats and feedback. Let's see you hit another shot. That was very all good. Right. Since you hit that one off the heel, yeah, apparently. You can do a little better than that. <laughs> all right. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Just in case. Woo! A little better. You caught that one, huh? A little better. I mean, look at the air, the air time, the hang time. It's ridiculous. That is terrific. Were you happy with that one? That was okay. That was okay. <laughs> you that's why you're training. You know, you're training. You get better and That's better. right. Listen, best of luck at Worlds. Thank Thanks you for David. coming by. Appreciate All it. Right. Thank you.